valued viewers. I hope you're all doing very well. And a very special shout out to my super thanks contributor at PhilPots48. He did contribute $20 or more to the channel's efforts, but he has not chosen a video to do as of yet, so stay tuned. And just a quick and gentle reminder that if you would like a custom video done, just hit the super thanks button on the taskbar and contribute $20 or more to the channel's efforts and write in the comments what you want me to do. And it takes priority over any other project that I have going on. And of course, any contribution is appreciated as well. And we'll get a shout out right here. And with that, let's get on with the video, which is the Canadian Pacific's largest locomotive, the Selkirk. Enjoy. Henry Blaine Bowen was the last Canadian Pacific Railroad mechanical chief to acquire steam locomotives, and he gave us the largest and heaviest steam locomotive class in British Commonwealth history, the Selkirk. At the helm of the Canadian Pacific Railroad's motive power department for more than 20 years, Bowen acquired 462 new steam locomotives right up until two months before his retirement on May 31st in 1949. The last steam locomotive added to the Canadian Pacific Railroad's roster was a veritable behemoth, number 5935, which was a Selkirk type, and this was part of a very distinctive class of locomotives. On other North American railways, locomotives with the same 2104 wheel ranges were called Texas types, but the Canadian Pacific Railroad had held a contest among its employees to come up with a distinctively Canadian name with a semi streamlined 2104. Texas T1B class locomotives were introduced in 1938. The reward was $20. And as fate would have it, no less than 15 contestants came up with the name Selkirk, a British Columbia mountain range through which the Canadian Pacific Railroad mainline tunnels. Selkirk won the day and the prize was awarded to one of the employees in a random draw. The name Selkirk was also applied retroactively to the non-streamlined 2104 T1A cousins built in 1929. The semi-streamlined T1B and T1C class of Selkirk locomotives were painted in the Canadian Pacific Railroad's passenger colors and used primarily for passenger services in the mountains. The 10 T1B locomotives were delivered in November and December of 1938. Selkirk locomotives were equipped with boosters, a geared steam engine attached to the locomotive's trailing track that increased traffic effort and helped locomotives move heavier trains from a standing start. All were built to burn oil instead of coal. Bowen took delivery of the last six T1C class Selkirk locomotives in the early part of 1949, when dieselization at the Canadian Pacific Railroad was already in full swing. These new locomotives were placed in service between Calgary and Revelstoke, traversing the mountain range for which they were named. By the mid-1950s, however, as diesel power was introduced, one territory at a time across the system, these majestic engines were running on the prairies, east out of Calgary. Still new by steam locomotive standards, all six were pulled from service within 10 years, and two of them have been pres preserved. Locomotive number 5931 was first displayed at Calgary's Medwada Park until being moved to its current resting spot as a welcoming sent sentinel at the city's Heritage Park. It caused quite a stir in 1981 when it was transported by rail on temporary tracks along the length of the Heritage Drive, a busy Calgary, Calgary thoroughfare. The very last Canadian Pacific Railroad steam locomotive number 5935 was outshot from the Montreal Locomotive Works in March of 1949. It was refurbished and donated to the Canadian Railroad Historical Association in March of 1963. It is now displayed proudly at the Canadian Railway Museum in St. Constant, Quebec. The first of these large engines, which had the 2104 wheel arrangement, was built in July of 1929. Altogether, 20 were constructed before the end of this year, bearing the numbers 5900 to 5919. The Canadian Pacific Railway's classification was T1A. These locomotives weighed 375 short tons fully loaded. They were the largest and most powerful locomotives in the British Empire. The Montreal Locomotive Works built another 10 of these successful Selkirk locomotives during November and December of 1938. The Canadian Pacific Railway assigned them the T1B class. They were numbered from 5920 to 5929. Modifications led the T1B to be 10 tons lighter while increasing steam pressure from 275 to 285 pounds per square inch. A further six Selkers classed T1C were built by the Montreal Locomotive Workshop in 1949. 
They were the last standard gauge steam locomotives built in Canada for a Canadian railroad. They were much the same as the T1B, except for a few refinements, including two cross compound air compressors to speed recharging of the air brake system. Some small streamlining touches were not retained. The streamlined casing around the smoke box stack was now absent and was the teardrop shape of the classification lights. Also, the inside of the cabs were no longer lined, insulated in the same manner as the previous class. Previous classes had a provided better cold weather cab insulation and were better liked by engine crews. They were all equipped with boosters, and all cell kirks were built as oil burners. The tenders held 12,000 imperial gallons of water and 4,100 imperial gallons of fuel oil. They had to be equipped with two pairs of six-wheel trucks because of total tender weight was 148 short tons. All 36 Selkirk locomotives, which were, again, number 5900 through 5935, were initially assigned to handle both freight as well as passenger trains between major division points of Calgary and Revelstoke, a distance of 262 miles. They were also used for 23 miles in pusher service from Revelstoke West, which is uphill, to Wyatt at Taft, assisting the road engines of both freight as well as passenger trains up the steep grade to this location. The leg and subdivision covered the eastern portion of their assigned territory, 137 miles, and included the field hill and the spiral tunnels, while the western portion of their primary assigned territory consisted of the mountain subdivision, which covered the remaining 126 miles, and included Rogers Pass, the Connaught Tunnel, and the Stony Creek Bridge. The grades encountered had a maximum of 2.2% with curves of 12 degrees or 480 feet radius. Rated that 78,000 pounds force tractive effort on the lesser grades, they could haul 1,050 short tons unassisted without the booster cut in. The booster engine added an additional 1,200 pounds of tractive effort up a maximum speed of 20 miles an hour. Due to their extreme weight, they could not proceed west of Taft to Vancouver. When diesels began operation between Calgary and Revelstoke in the early 1950s, the Selkirks were reassigned to work the Brooks and Maple Creek subdivisions between Calgary and Swift Current, Saskatchewan. They were also used to haul freight trains north of their new Elf Terminal in Calgary as far as Edmonton. At least some of the reassigned Selkirks received all-black non-passenger paint schemes without CPR Tuscan red panels and without gray or blue metal boiler jackets. However, they still retained the yellow panel trim around the previous CPR Tuscan red pa panels, and on these locomotives, they were formerly painted with outline panels. The last Selkirks, 5930 through 5935, were taken out of service in 1959. And as mentioned previously, two Selkirk locomotives were retained, both of were of the class T1C, and the first is 5935, again, which is preserved at the Canadian Railway Museum in St. Constant, Quebec, and the 5931, which by chance was repainted and intentionally renumbered incorrectly as 5934 upon initial public display near downtown Calgary. And this was eventually repainted and renumbered again, this time with its correct original number of 5931. This coincided with its move and relocation to the main entrance to Heritage Park in Calgary, Alberta. And with that, the following specifications apply to the Canadian Pacific Railroad's Class T1C Selkirk locomotives. The builder was Montreal Locomotive uh, works and they were built between February and March of 1949. The wheel arrangement was the 2104. The tractive effort was 89,400 pounds with booster and gauge. The cylinder size was 25 by 32 inches. The driver diameters were 63 inches. The boiler pressure was 285 psi. The operating rate was 731,000 pounds. The extreme weight was 97 feet 10 and 5 eighths of an inch. The height was 15 feet 6 inches. And the original cost per locomotive was $259,668. All of the Selkirk class locomotives were dis discontinued or retired in 1950 to 1959, and as I mentioned, two of preserved, number 5935 and number 5931. And with that, I shall wrap up the video, and I'll thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed the content today, please hit the like button. And also, if you're not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button, as both features help the channel grow immensely. And don't forget about the Super Thanks button on there. Any contribution to the channel's efforts are welcome and appreciated. And if you don't want to do it that way, you can visit our print shop at NickelPlateLimited on Etsy.com. And we thank you once again.